wall infrastructure. When you look at some bridges, you might have seen how they are composed of equilateral triangle sections in series. It is this shape that makes them stronger. Now let's explore this bridge building technology that has been in use since centuries. Patented in 1848 by its designers James Warren and Willebo Theobald Monzani, the Warren Trust was adopted by engineers for designing street bridges and structures. Especially in America, during the rapid expansion to the Wild West and the construction of the Great Trans-American Railroad Network, which connected the East Coast to the West Coast. The Warren Trust consists of alternatively inverted equilateral triangle-shaped spaces along its length. Due to this structure, each section is only subject to tension or compression forces, which helps to evenly distribute the loads of light. Let's see how this works out. So the upper part of the truss structure faces compression forces, while the tension is exerted on hinges at the bridge stack. Thus the net force is equal to zero, which helps the bridge to stay in equilibrium. There are no bending or torsional forces in each member. This makes Warren truss more stable compared to a non truss structure, which simply collapses due to bending applied to it. The Warren truss was an improved successor to the Neoval truss, which involved isosceles triangles in its design but was inefficient at handling loads, so it was eventually phased out. As engineers began to construct war interest bridges with increased spans, they observed the bridges began to buckle due to the increased length of the upper horizontal members. To solve this issue, a variant of the war interest was introduced that involved an additional vertical member within the triangles. These vertical members do not carry a large proportion of the truss loads, but the main purpose is to stabilize the horizontal members against buckling. Provided how easy and simple it was to make war interest structures, it allowed for prefabricated modular bridges to become mainstream. During the Second World War, the British forces used a variant of the design called the Baylor Bridge. By quickly transporting and assembling truss bridges over rivers in a period of few days, the Allied forces were able to transport war equipment quickly across Europe, which even included heavy tanks up to, up to 40 tons. Overall, the war truss allows structures to have high strength while minimizing the total weight of the structure, which leads to cost saving for the developers. Thank you very much for your time.